of the extraordinary pieces in our collection is a letter from George Washington to his wife, Martha Washington. And it's extraordinary because the correspondence between them doesn't exist. We assume that she burnt it after he died uh, or destroyed it. That was pretty common in the 18th century. Uh, but we do have uh, one fantastic letter uh, that has survived. It's one of two that survived it, underneath a desk drawer in Martha's desk as it descended into her family. Someone discovered this letter uh, and donated it to Mount Vernon. So this is an extraordinary letter because George Washington writes it from Philadelphia in June of 1775. If you remember what's happening in that moment, uh, the American Revolutionary War really begins with the shots heard around the world at the Battle of Lexington and Concord in Massachusetts. And that's when George Washington steps onto the stage that's going to make him the most famous man in the 18th century. He's appointed the commander-in-chief of that army in Philadelphia, and he has to leave. He has to get all his, his stuff together and leave and go to Boston. So this letter is a letter of departure uh, to Martha. She's back at Mount Vernon. He writes to her, uh, I, I don't have much time to write much. I'm surrounded by people. I hope to see you at the end of the campaign. But he does say, but I retain for you an unalterable affection which neither time nor distance can change. It's a beautiful sentiment. Uh, he doesn't have a Hallmark store that he can run out to and grab a letter. He's got to come up with that on the fly in the middle of all this chaos. And it does give us that little glimpse into that very special relationship uh, that we know was crucial to them both.